Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Virtual Classroom. Here, myself, uh, Professor Vadar Kumar, Department of Aeronautical Engineering. And uh, we have uh, discussed a few problems in the uh, past class in Unit 1. In today's class, we are going to discuss about Unit 2 problems. So, your Unit 2 problems is likely more than the Unit 1 problem. But the thing is, uh, we are going to use all the ISM problems. So the tables are permitted for unit. It's very simple that you can uh, have all the data inside the table, that is gas tables. So I request everyone to download the gas tables in the LMS tab. So you can share the screen and I will tell you. Yes. When you go to the uh, go to your subject page, okay. You will found announcement. So below the announcement, you have part time class timetable, and below that, we have guest tables, right? You can click it and then download the guest tables, right? And after that, after downloading it, okay, you just uh, go to the table 3, and then in table 3, the subdivision 3.2, okay, go to table 3 and the subdivision 3.2. That is gamma is equal to 1 by 4, right? Let's go open. Open and uh, take this with you in an another or another laptop or system, right? Because we are going to do all the problems only in this 3.2 table, right? So take page number 28. And then, uh, last class I have given a homework assignment. Uh, so, uh, students, roll number 13 is there, and then roll number 10 is there. I get it done, and uh, okay, I can uh, go for bagel ten first. Yes. Uh, Vagiri, can could you explain me how uh, you have solved this problem? Are they admit you? Invite yourself, uh, Vagiri. Yeah, you can admit yourself. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yes. from the question, it is given that uh, the temperature is 5 and 93. Okay. Then, uh, gamma R and R values are given. Okay. And uh, that is given that mass number is 1.2. Okay. And uh, we were asked to find the total and the stagnant interactions of velocity of sound and okay. sound and maximum attainable velocity of the depth. Okay, okay. So, H1 is the enthalpy. Actually, yes. it is H, but I, uh, I started with P1. So oh. uh, then uh, H0 is the stagnation enthalpy, A is the uh, speed of sound and A0 is the stagnation uh, speed of sound and C matches the uh, maximum yep. velocity. So uh, first we are going to find out A with uh, root gamma RT. There is a substitute material value and we find the uh, velocity of sound then uh, RT. Yeah. Then uh, uh, we found out C to find the uh, H0. Oh. Using H plus Good. half C square formula. Mm -hmm. So then we found out H by using uh, either uh, A square by gamma minus 1 or gamma RT by gamma uh, minus 1. Yes. Yes. Then uh, after finding that value, we found out H0 value using H and C square formula. Yes. Then uh, we found out that uh, gamma RT is equal to 1 by 4 into gamma RT by gamma RT. Yes. Then uh, we found out that uh, using H and C square formula. Yes. So then finally, C max square is equal to 2 into A naught square by gamma minus 1 and found out the C max. 
very good very good not do it like an assignment i just solve it yeah very good very good <laughs> very good okay you, you can uh, stop screen sharing okay we will go for another one and then number 38 are you there you can meet yourself sir ah yes hello sebastian yes sir ca- sir good uh, evening sir ah uh, good evening yes <laughs> Are you sharing this screen? Sir, uh, now screen is shared, sir. Yes, yes. Sir, actually, in the, the jet of a gas at 593 Kelvin, sir, it is given the temperature. Yes. Mm. And a specific heat ratio gamma is given 1.3. Mm. And, and uh, gas, gas standard R, it is given 469 joules kg per Kelvin. Mm. And a Mach number of 1.2 is given, sir. and uh, this is the given data, data. Uh, okay. and to find is local velocity of uh, sound or static velocity of sound oh. that is a meter per second stagnation velocity of sound that is a not sir oh. and stagnation enthalpy h not and local or static enthalpy is h maximum attained velocity of the jet that is c max okay. very good now for uh, solution sir formula involved sir this is mm. velocity of sound as we know a is equal to root over gamma rt mm. and for a not it is root over gamma rt zero okay. and for enthalpy h it is cp t cp temperature that is mm. t for uh, stagnation t- enthalpy h not that mm. is cp t zero sir where cp is gamma r by gamma minus 1 okay. and maximum velocity of j C max, where we are using the stagnation uh, enthalpy relation. Yes, yes. So we are getting h not c square max by two or a z a not square by gamma minus one. This we are going sir. So in this, uh, for us uh, unknown is uh, t zero sir. That is stagnation yes, temperature. Yes, yes. So we have to find out. Oh, yes, sir. This ratio we are finding t not sir. So substitution we are going sir. So direct substitution of the value. Balakrishnan, excuse me. Uh, Balakrishnan, could you mute yourself? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Now you continue. Sir, as a substitution, oh. we are going for the available formula. So the last step sound as explained as is uh, root over gamma t. Direct substitution, sir. Values are given, na. so simplifying it, we are getting 601.3 meter per second mm. velocity of the sound. That is stag- static velocity of sound. Mm. So now stagnation velocity of sound, where we require t not. Mm. So we are using the t not t zero by t equation, and we are uh, directly substituting substituting the values, and we are getting t not is 721 Kelvin. Mm. Okay. And for uh, Yeah, this stagnation uh, velocity of uh, velocity of sound we are getting a not equal to root over gamma rt rt zero we are uh, just now find out uh, t zero we are directly substituting okay. yes. and simplifying we are getting a not is six six hundred sixty three meter per second sir. Okay. Okay. Then next uh, step is the static enthalpy. Mm-hmm. So this uh, we have a relation h equal to cp uh, temperature sir t mm. so cp we got the relation gamma r by gamma minus 1 mm. so the, all the values are available so it is computing okay. and we are uh, getting this value sir h equal to 12.05 10 power of 5 just uh, making it uh, simple mm. joule per kg sir then stagnation enthalpy sir h not Mm. So this also we have the value t not just now we have find out uh, earlier stage yeah yes sir yes, so yes, directly we are substituting sir mm. so as a gamma 1.3 cos uh, gas constant given mm. and the found out uh, t not we are substituting we are getting h not is 14.65 into 10 power 5 joule per kg sir so, yes good then maximum attainable velocity of the jet c max yes. Yes. For this two relations are there, sir. So mm. either relation we can use. So I am using this uh, C max square by two equal to H naught, sir. So direct substitution. 
just now we have found out the h not mm. so direct substitution we are getting so we are getting 1711.72 meter per second yes good so result sir yes so sound of velocity as we have found 601.3 meter per second mm. stagnation velocity of sound a not 663 meter per second okay. then stagnation enthalpy 14.65 10 power 5 mm. joule per kg Low, uh, that is static enthalpy h 12.05 10 power 5 joule per kg and maximum attainable velocity of the jet is uh, c max 1711.72 meter per second sir yes <laughs> sir thank you sir thank you for giving up <laughs> ah thank you sir bas ji you have done the wonderful job Okay, you can exit your screen. Stop. Click on stop share. So that option not coming, sir. So it is available in the top of the screen. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Stop there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So any other students? I still like to show your assignments. Again. Just uh, chat me in the chat box. You can reply me in the chat box. Okay. It's okay. Important topics which we have to study for in the important topics are a lot important. Uh, we have a question bank. Complete question bank. Okay, uh, it is also shared with the LMS uh, after the graphic test. You can download it, and you can prepare a current data question. Okay, so uh, that question will be asked. See one answer, right? For the one, you have unit one and unit two, right? So for unit one, and unit two only, we are following all the same stuff. And then uh, if we have the classes after the C one, right? So we go for division for the uh, three. And we will complete for you here. Okay, uh, we will uh, go for the today's class discussion. Yes. Uh, so students, uh, kindly download all the files from the LMS. Okay, right. So we are going for unit two now. So unit two is nothing but a flow through variable aerator, right? So when we talk about a constant aerator, that is the rally flow and the fan flow. That is unit two. Okay. Here it is uh, unit two. Uh, here we have discussed about the area velocity relation and then uh, diffusion, arson, diffusion, 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 arson, and then we have convergent law and divergent arson. And then uh, convergent divergent diffusion. Uh, so we had uh, studied uh, uh, some theoretical parts and uh, some uh, perspective. Okay. Uh, so what are the perspective? Like where exactly we are getting the velocity, right? So we have to increase the velocity at the uh, exit of the nozzle. So in order to increase the velocity in exit of the nozzle, uh, you are uh, having that convergent divergent, right? So for that uh, area velocity relation. So we have uh, undergone variable as variation, right? So I will show you. So these are the topics and uh, our problems we are uh, going to discuss in today's class, right? So what are these? So isentropic flow through variable area that it is nothing but convergent divergent. Right? Okay. So we are going to discuss about only the convergent divergent, type, right? CD level or D level loss. Okay. And then uh, there we have discussed about the PS and the HS diagrams for nozzle and the diffusion flows. The thing is, uh, and nozzle uh, the pressure is decreasing and the velocity is increasing. In diffusion pressure is decreasing, uh, pressure is increasing, the velocity is decreasing. Right? So both are uh, having opposite operation. So the function and the, the design is same. Okay, we have the convergent dimension. And, but the design is same, but uh, the functioning is different for both cases. 
and then uh, for that uh, design we required this area ratio right uh, area ratio as a function of my camera so we have the one dimensional formula so with the help of this one dimensional flow compression flow analysis we are using this uh, area ratio as a function of my camera with the help of this area ratio we could able to uh, predict where exactly the flow is happening so with the help of this uh, we had a uh, plotted this chart at level we got this chart right so from this okay if we divide it okay this will be sub point and this will be super sum right so that is your convergent portion this is your diagonal portion so we consider a convergent portion we had the increase in area ratio right degrees in the area ratio that is conversion where the flow is made in such a and the, this is the set to be the a by a star and this is set to be the right so a by a star which is Mach number third and then we had uh, justified that these are the results right but actually when we are going for solving any kind of problem okay we have to find this area ratio so what would be the exit what would be the flow what would be the inverse ratio so likewise uh, the problem is solved Right. So, if any flow of the same here, also a producer, okay, the problem is given. So, in that particular problem, they have given some of the properties, okay. So, using that flow properties, you have to find the gear the edge star, right. So, that is, you need actually, actually you need the mass, right. And the, this is nothing but isentropic flow through masses only. And then we are going to solve only the isentropic flow through masses. We are not going to uh, solve any problems on friction flow, right? So, with respect to friction flow, we are going for rally and the time flow that could be solved on speed, right? And then uh, we have the mass flow rate through the muscle. So, for the mass flow rate through the muscle, we are going to use only using the formula rho star, k star, c star, right? So, mass flow rate is equal to rho star, k star, c star, and this a by a star as well as for uh, uh, what uh, what your isentropic table looks like so we have Mach number okay for different Mach number uh, we have p by p naught p by p naught o by rho naught then uh, we have a by a star and then f star by f right so these are the values you are, uh, it is present for uh, isentropic table. For each isentropic table, it is present. And then for calculating the value of f star, it's simple. So, what is your f star? f star is nothing but p star, p star, to one plus right? So, uh, these are the formulas we are going to use. So, right? so the half flow rate of star, a star, c star, right? As well as mass flow rate is uh, uh, what uh, when we talk about mass flow rate, we have the throat mass flow rate and the mass flow rate at the entry, throat, as well as exit. All are set to be equal, right? So at the throat, at the exit, and at the entry, in all the cases, your mass flow rate is set to be equal. So you can use any of the formula. You are going for entry, it was rho 1, a1, c1. When you go for exit, it was A2, uh, row 2, A2, C, right? Uh, nothing uh, changes is there, right? So, the maximum utilization is, we need the data only with respect to Mach number and it is from isentropic flow, right? So, we have to take table 3.2, right? We have to take table 3.2, right? So, in the table 3.2, uh, let me so, table 3.2, page number 28. So, you have to keep this page from the and the table 3.2. So, all of you go to LMS, okay, login into LMS, so download this table, gas table 3.2, and uh, just open it. Okay, we are going to solve all the problems with respect to this. As, as well as we have a different gamma values they are given. 
but we are going to solve only for 1.41 okay, so that i am taking the two right so in this uh, uh, most of the syllabus you are having 1.41 if a given uh, gave the value like 1.3 you may go for 1.3 otherwise you don't go for 1.3 if the gamma value of any gas is there at that value of gas is said to be 1.67 you can go for 1.67 right but uh, when uh, they give the in the given problem they will always give air if air is given you have to solve only in air right and then this is the return that gas given it should be given for your examination purpose so that I will download this and then uh, it okay. right and then uh, this is nothing but gas tables by Yaya okay yes and Yaya is the other name so you can uh, download this and uh, then take printout or you can also take printout and you can use it for your CEO in exam right only one problem in here nothing more than that and the other section you are having the absolute choice and you have the any, any kind of very critical questions in this right so let us have some discussion and we go for a discussion right we go for a problem straight away so a conical degree sir as an inlet diameter of 40 cm and outlet diameter of 80 cm, air enters the diffuser with a static pressure of 2 bar and a static temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. The average velocity of the flow at the inlet to the diffuser is 265 meters per second. Now you have to calculate mass flow rate property at the exit section and the force exerted on the diffuser. So it's very simple that first of all write the given data for this problem. Right? And then uh, you know V1. V1 is 40 cm. That is inlet diameter. And then V2. V2 is 80 cm. Right? And then we could find the value of A1 and A2. Right? So, 5 by 4, B1 squared. Here it is 5 by 4, B2 squared. Right? So, using this, we will calculate the value of A1 and A2. Right? And then uh, these are the given data that will help you to find the value because we have to calculate mass flow rate. Okay, drop this at the section means at the exit section we have to find. So and the force exited at the diffuser walls. That is F2 minus F1. We have to calculate. So for all these things uh, you need the condition of the entry as well as exit. So I am considering the diffuser right like this. So if it is said to be the subsonic, right? So, subsonic diffuser means so we have to decrease the velocity. In order to decrease the velocity, what you have to do? So, if you want to uh, decrease the velocity, okay, we need convergent passage or divergent passage. We need, if you are uh, considering that here, like this, like this uh, convergent passage. Right. And then uh, we have the incre increase in diameter, right? So it is not a convergent passive, it was a divergent passive. So the diffuser is like this. Right? Correct? So if you are considering here, okay. So at the inlet section, in the outlet section, we have to find all the flow properties. So flow properties at the exit section, we have to find because for inlet they have given. So what is your P1? So P1 is 2 bar and then static temperature is also given. So it was 37 degrees Celsius. So you have to add with 270 degrees. And uh, what is the answer? So 37 plus 273, 310, correct? A1 is 
जीरो पॉइंट वन टू फाइव जीरो पॉइंट वन टू फाइव एट स्क्वायर एंड ए टू इज ए टू इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो टू एट स्क्वायर ओके एंड व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ टी वन नाउ टी वन इज थ्री टेन Yes, T1 is 310 kg, and then the average velocity is also T. Okay, that is C1. So what is the C1? C1 is 265 meter per second. Right. So what you have to calculate? You have to calculate mass flow rate. So mass flow rate, and then properties at the axis section. So you are only care about only the axis section properties. And then force exerted on the degree surface, right? So force exerted on the degree surface we are going to calculate, right? So for this we are going for isentropic tailings. So what are the steps we are going to calculate? And uh, how we are going to solve this? It's very simple now, right? So uh, first of all we need the we know the temperature only the static temperature and the static pressure values, right? But uh, we have to uh, have the Uh, total pressure, right? Our total pressure or total temperature. So we can find the value of T naught one using the formula. T naught one is equal to T one plus T one square divided by two C, right? And then here the complete process is uh, is considered as yeah. Okay. So for here we have to substitute the value of C two value of here, and then uh, we have to substitute this, right? So T naught one is equal to Here T1 is there, so 310 kg plus C1 squared, 265 squared, divided by 2 into CP is 1000 kg. Right? On uh, substituting these values, what is the value of T1? Right? Okay. Yes, uh, T naught one is about three forty four, correct? Three forty four point eight. So three forty four, three forty four point eight three. So this is your T naught one. Now what you have to find is T one by T naught. What is the ratio of T one by T naught one? Now? Can post by you the chat box. Yes. So it was zero point eight nine. Okay. So zero point eight nine. So what we are going to do is here uh, we are going for this isentropic table now, right? So what is the value now? The value is zero point eight nine. Okay. So the temperature ratio, that is static to total temperature ratio, is 0.88. So you are going for isentropic table. You are looking at this T by T naught, right? So in this T by T naught, you are going for 0.88. Okay, as you are the T by T naught is decreasing, right? It is in decreasing order. So you are going for 0.88. Here, so 0.8 mm. We are having this value, 0.8 mm, right? Okay, so we have 0.8 mm here. So in this 0.8 mm, so what is your mass? Right? Not only. So by finding the mass here, and then uh, what we have to do now? M star, so M star is not needed here, right? And then 
P B is equal to then A B A star and then A by F star, right? So these things are here. So you have to uh, write all the values from this table. So 0.818 is the solution of P by T bar. We are having the same data here. And uh, for that data, what is the value of Mach number you are finding? For that particular Mach number, what will be the other static pressure ratio which has already calculated and it was shown in the gas table. So from this table, we can have all the values and then uh, we will estimate the total pressure and then uh, throat area or else uh, A star value, right? And then uh, we could uh, uh, estimate the value of using uh, using that we could find the value of A2 by A star. So using A2 by A star, we could be able to find the value of Mach number at the exit of the digits, right? We just write the values. So what is your entry Mach number now? So it is about 0.7, right? So with this okay ratio write the check the gas tank. okay so it is nothing but isentropic table okay and we are going to write all the values of this so your Mach number m1 is 0 0.75 m1 is equal to 0 0.75 and then P by P0 is 0 0.688 P1 by P0 is equal to 0 0.688 and then A by A star A by A star is 1.062 A1 by A star is 1.06 okay. and then what is your F by F star? F by F star is 1.031. So F by F star. Okay. So F by F star is 1.03, right? So 1.03, right? And then uh, uh, what we have to estimate is that we have to find the value of A star. And then uh, we want to, we also need to find the value of uh, A star also, right? So mm -hmm. in order to estimate these values, right? Uh, what we have to do is, so we have the max number M1 is equal to 0 0.75, right? Uh, so in this, what you have is the case so uh, using these values we could be able to find the value of pinatone right so what is pinatone pinatone is 0 0.688 divided by p1 okay your p1 is 2 part right correct right? oh, because 2 by 2 by 0 point so we get a problem here Now tell me the value of phenatone. So what is the value of phenatone? How we got this T by T not only side? Uh, yeah, we are getting this uh, T by T not only value. Okay, this is this problem. We are estimating the value of T not T not is equal to T1 plus C was by two C T. This is this formula. We are getting T not And then you are finding the value of T1. Okay, you know T1, T10. So 310 by T44.0. So you are getting an answer. Right? Okay. So here, what is the value of uh, uh, now? Uh, this is for Mach number M1 and this is for A1. And then you can now find the value of A star. Right? 
So what is your A star? So A star is equal to A1 by So what is your A1? So what is your A1 now? A1 is 0 0.125 so a1 is 0 0.125 divided by and then 1.062 so 1.062 and you are finding the value of a star one. and uh, here uh, you have to find the value of a star one. after finding the value of a star you could able to solve this uh, effort right Okay, uh, what is the value of P01? P01 is 2.906, correct? So 2.906, right? And then A star, what is your A star? A star is 0 0.47. So 0 0.472 to this is Okay. Is it correct? A star. So P01 is uh, 2.906. Yes, exit area considered. Yeah, exit area we have to, we are not going for exit area still. We are finding uh, these values. With these values, we are going to evaluate the exit area also. Because we need A star now. If we know the value of A star, we can be able to find the value of A2 by A star in the second case. And then uh, from that uh, exit value. Sapkumar, you are putting one value uh, 8.496. Uh, there is no properties are involved here, right? So, I have been uh, told you about the uh, yeah, a studies 0 0.117. Yeah, that's what I'm Because we have the denominator as the higher one, so that uh, we are having the increased one, right? So, a star is equal to 0 0.117. Right. Okay, good. Now, uh, with these properties, okay, we are going to evaluate. Okay, uh, just uh, support this section. Okay. Now, we are going for A2 by A star. That is exit condition. So, we have finished the entry condition. Now, we go for exit condition. So, A2 by A star. So, what is your A2 by A star now? So, your A2 is 0 0.502, right? So 0.502 divided by your A star is 0 0.117, right? Now you are finding this ratio. A star, A star is 0 0.472 or 0 0.117. What is the value? Which one is correct? Sebasti as well as Bagirat Khan. Bagirat Khan are either. So 0 0.125 divided by 1.602. What is the answer? 0 0.1171. And then uh, this ratio is 4.29. Okay. This ratio is 4.29. A2 by A star is 4.29. Now we are going for gas table. Right. And then uh, we have the initial Mach number as 0 0.75. And your Mach number is still reducing. Correct. So uh, when Mach number is decreasing, we have the uh, 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 the exit area is set to be maximum, right? So the exit area is set to be maximum and the infinite at zero, right? So your A by A star is zero, right? And we have the increasing R. Now the value uh, you have delivered is 4.9, right? So this is 4.9. So what is your exit match number? You just to go for it, right? Here. So your exit line number is set to be 0 0.1, right? And your T by T naught, 
right and there is your pvp now right and then you are a uh, fif now fif star so now you are going to write all the values relevant to this so this is yes exit mac number is 0.14 how is 0.14 first port find two name oh port find two name correct so Four point two nine, no. So we are having zero point one four, right? So zero point nine eight six, and then your temperature issue, right? So temperature issue, and then this way, zero point two four, right? Okay. So your answer is four point two nine. Okay, so four point two nine is four point three. Yeah, wrong. So we can put this one, right? And uh, rounding up, uh, we are having four point three. Okay. Uh, so we can have the value around this, right? And then F by F star, right? We will copy down all these things. So for this, A two by A star in gas tables. Section three point two, right? The value of Mach number, okay, that is QRM two. QRM two is what? Zero point one four, right? And then your pressure ratio P two by P naught two, and your temperature ratio P two by P naught two, right? So your uh, pressure ratio is zero point nine eight six. And your temperature ratio is zero point nine nine six. Right. So we had completed this uh, pressure ratio, temperature ratio, and then still A by A star. So from this A by A star only you have estimated. And then F by F star. What is your F by F star? Three point three four three. F by F star. Three point three four three. Right. So with these ratios, we are going to estimate the value. Right. Uh, the thing is, uh, if you if you want to estimate the value of F star, okay, we need a P star, right? So if you want to estimate the value of a P star, okay, that is, if you want to estimate the value of F star, okay, the formula is P star A star into one plus half. So this is the formula. Okay, and uh, you have uh, you, 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 now you can find the value of P two. Right now, you can find the value of P from this limit. Can you tell me what is P two? P two because you know T not one, T T not two, right? So this T not one and T not two is nothing but it is nothing. That is T not one is equal to T not two and P not one is equal to P. Why? Because since the flow is asymptotic, since the flow is asymptotic, the total pressure. And the total temperature is said to be constant, right? And you know the value of P naught one, and uh, you know the value of P naught one, right? So it was three forty four point eight, right? So you just uh, substitute this value and find the value of P, naught. and the uh, P naught two value is two point nine zero six. You just substitute the value, right? So uh, just uh, into two point nine nine zero six. So this is into Ah, what is the value we are getting? Yes, uh, T two is three forty three point five. T 
Right, and then what is P2? P2 is 2.86 and this is in Kelvin. So we had estimated the value of uh, P2, but uh, still we have one uh, correction that we have to find the value of P star. So in order to find the value of P star, you are going for uh, that relation. So what critical mark number right so in order to estimate the value of p star what you are going so to find p star okay so what is your critical case critical condition the critical condition is m is equal to 1 right so in m is equal to 1 in table find the value of p star by p right so find the value of p star by p this p2 is 2.86 so what is the value of p star by p not now so you have to go to the table okay in that table so far m is equal to 1 that is m is equal to 1.00 okay here it is there, right so what is the pressure p by p naught 0 0.52 is correct so it is already highlighted okay so that p by p naught is 0 0.52 the value is 0 0.52 right and you know the value of p naught 1 and the p naught 2 as well as your p naught is constant now what is the value of p naught so your p naught is 2.906 right so 0 0.528 into 2.906 so what is the value of p star now yes what is the value of p star now yes it was 1.5343 right now you can straight away go for that f star. So f star is equal to p star a star into 1 plus star. Right? So what is your p star? So p star is you have to substitute here in terms of aspects. So into 10 power 5. Then a star. A star is already fine. So 0 0.117. So 0 0.117 into 1 plus 1.3 so it was 2.4 right now what is the value of f star now now tell me the value of f star Sir, exit mark number is yes. okay. Exit mark number is 0 0.14. But uh, here we are going to solve for only the critical condition. So, with respect to critical condition, we need to find the value of P star. So, what will be the value of P star? And then we could estimate the value of F star. Right? We are comparing it with uh, 1. Okay. Right, so what is your F star value? So it was 43085. So 43. Very good. is responding fast. Very good. 43083. Okay. So pressure multiplied by area, which is force, right? That is the given thing in the right so uh, we have to find the exit area condition so we had estimated the values of exit area pressure exit area temperature we had calculated till we have to find the exit area velocity so in order to find the exit area velocity we are using this relation that is mass flow rate. right 
So we see this mass flow rate, mass flow rate at one and mass flow rate at two. This exit velocity for exit velocity. Okay. So m dot is equal to m dot. So here, here you are going to take row one, q one, c one, right? Here I am going to neglect row row one and row two because both the terms are in less than one. And uh, it is said to be the in uh, the possible. So I am treating that density as a constant, and I am estimating only the a one c one is equal to a two c two. That is discharge. So as per continuity, the continuum discharge is equal to discharge at entry is equal to discharge at exit. Right? I am considering this condition, and then a one you know c one you know a two you know. C2. Only you are going to find the value of C2 on this condition. So what is your A1? So A1 is 0.125. So 0. Right, and then C1 is 265. Right, divided by A2. So, what is your A2? A2 is 0 0.502. Right, now what is the value of C2? Yes, C2 is 65.86. So, 65.86. Right. Okay. So we had calculated all the properties at the exit as well as we had calculated the value of uh, mass flow rate, right? So we have to calculate the value of mass flow rate. So mass flow rate at the entry uh, inlet means just you are multiplying with rho 1 into, so uh, you are finding the value of rho 1 from the static pressure at the static temperature, right? So uh, still you have to find the mass flow rate now. So m dot 1, right? So row 1, a1, c1. So you know all the values. So in order to find the value of row 1, that is p1 divided by rt1. Then a1, c1, right? So what is your p1? 2 bar. So you have to convert it to return to the square. So into 10 per 5. And then a1 is 0 0.125 right into c1 c1 is 265 divided by r r is 287 and then t1 what is your t1 temperature 3 okay now you could estimate the value of mass flow rate at the end what is the mass flow rate now Yeah, it was 74.46. 74.46. Kilogram per second. Right? <coughs> okay. And then uh, after estimating this mass flow rate, we have to find the force. Right? So force excited are the walls. So force ex excited are the walls. It's nothing but uh, we have the ratio of uh, two different ratios that is F2 by F star and then F1 by F star. So you are finding F2 minus F. F2 minus F. Okay. So it is that we have the ratio, right? Okay. And then your F star, treat this F star as common outside. Okay. And the 3.343 minus 1.031 into F star. Right? Can you tell me the answer now? So 3.343. So 3.343 minus 1.031. 1.031. Multiplied by your F star. What is your F star? Here is your F star. 43. Right now, tell me the value of force. 
for the seafood. Yeah, cost is about 99.612 kilometer. Right? This is the cost, etc. That the tips are about. Yeah, okay, it's time up. Okay. We have the lot of discussions here, but uh, the thing is, uh, since we have gone through gas tables and uh, we have some uh, understanding for your problem one, we are having a long gap to in this problem, right? And next class, try to download the question bank. The wait, wait, the question bank will be released by today itself. Okay. Right. And then. Uh, we will see in next class okay so thank you all students we have to stop this thing thank you all we will leave the room the another person is waiting for you.